So, new rules on the FL, and it can affect us in a little way. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live and when live streams happen. Talking of live streams, it will be the Sheffield Wednesday roundup this week. For Friday, the 9th of June. So, yes, we will do a roundup tonight. Uh, it be good to talk about everything in the week. Talk about everything that's happened all week. Just so there's a big, like, just an impact on everything that's happening, really. Talking Wednesday podcast out every Tuesday at 5pm. So, the news from the EFL, they had a lot of things out. A lot of it was to do with ownership models and how they're going to do the fit and Fit a proper person test now. Uh, there was a lot of that in it as well. Now, but the, the, the bit that comes into it for the playing side of it. So the the EFL are going to be introducing the multi-ball system, which means that a ball comes straight in and it's fine. Now, this is great and it slows down the time wasting, everything like that, but... The one thing they are now not going to be allowing to do, which is bad news for us and West Brom, is there are now going to be no towels allowed to dry the ball. So you're going to have to use your shirt or possibly trick the rule by having an undershirt on, maybe having a looser shirt than what you normally would to dry the ball. Now, this is where Volks really came into his own this season with using a towel to dry the ball. He did it for Palmer's goal uh, in the playoff semi-final. Now, we would have to figure out how to do it. The new multi-ball system is to kind of get more playing time in. And so it'll be interesting to see what went they do on that. But also there was some like fit, fit and proper person test that they uh, looked at changing as well. It's like more, if you, more things if you've got a conviction, if you've got... Something from not being able to own a, own a uh, club like conviction in a sports thing. A lot of it goes into more detail about how we are going to, when a new owner comes in, they are going to have to have bigger hoop to jump through, which is good, to be fair. Uh, I think that it needs to be more done that way, even more so, because I think I still think the fit and fit proper person test isn't fit for purpose at times. So we'll see what happens there. But... This new rule, it means we're going to have to come up with a new way of doing the throwing thing. You're going to have to put the ball underneath your shirt, Will, and dry it that way. Or Callum, Patterson, you're just going to have to dry it that way and get it into the box quicker and longer. But there'll be ways to do it. But I get I get why they're doing it. It is to like get the game flowing a bit faster, cut down on time wasting, and make it so if there's a multi-ball system, a board will come straight into play, done and dusted. But... Even though I thought there was already a multi-ball system in play. But anyway, that that's it. It will hamper us. We'll have to find a way around it in terms of like just trying to drive the ball with our shirt. But yeah, that's the new fun the EFL.